All right. In Nigeria, filmmakers say the country has the potential to embark on productions of massive skill, but say a lack of inadequate funding and deliberate policies are part of why the local movie industry isn't able to catch up with what's on offer in advanced countries. Timothy New Senior Researcher Cyril Labako compiled this report. Shield that guards the realm of men. And now, his watch is over. Lines taken from the chant of the Night's Watch troops at the funeral of a lost comrade. It's an appropriate epitaph for the series itself after its finale premiered on May the 19th with the record-breaking 47 Emmy Awards to its credit. The show drew more than 19 million viewers in the US alone for its 73rd and final episode. Game of Thrones was adapted from George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire Novel series drawing some of the biggest talents in Hollywood and had a budget of $15 million per episode in its final run. Such resounding success is a feat Nigerian filmmakers say can be attained given the many stories in the nation's history but are sadly left in abeyance. We're not digitally or we're not technically going all out. The jihadists who came into Nigeria through the Osmanian Fodio and conquered part of Nigeria, that is a huge story. These guys were fighting wars. They didn't come and they were begging you to collect your land. No, so they were fighting wars and they were taking... These are grand premises for big-time productions that can happen in this country. For a series whose fans have turned fandom to more than a pastime, there are equally crucial lessons for Nigeria as a society. It's one dream that can be made a reality if the right set of persons are engaged. The youth have the energy, they have the time, they have the vibrance, they have the, the thinking, they have everything going for them. So I would advise that the youths to come up and push towards trying to tell stories, individual stories. Even now you could use your phone to tell stories. People tell stories with their phone. Nigerian home video cut its teeth with Living in Bondage, a two-part drama in 1992, paving the way for a flurry of productions. Yet, nearly three decades on, the industry doesn't seem to have taken more than baby steps. What exactly we are doing and what exactly we're not doing right. It has to do with the thinking and not just the thinking, it has to do with the right mindset and the right kind of people and the right kind of equipment. It's also said that Nigeria's population is a delight to entertainers, an artistic gold mine waiting to be explored. Experts agree that Nigeria has the potential of becoming a global force in the film enterprise, but may not be better than a true depiction of kings landing in Game of Thrones, which denied the existence of the White Walkers until it woke upon its moment of truth. You, you know, one of the, um, uh, the respondents there talked about the issue of Osman Danforji. Yes. We are waiting in the next, uh, in, the, in the near future, for a production on that movie. Um, to and that, that would be so good, but then it's going to gulp a lot of money. Yeah, but the more money, the more benefits. That's how it is. Well, let's see how that goes. <laughs>